Hello everyone and welcome to Eco and Crafts. Um, a slightly different video this week. I'm going to be reviewing a um, sewing pattern from Tilly and the Buttons. It's the Miette skirt. Uh, I think I mentioned in one of my previous videos where I made some pajamas into some children's wear that I've been trying to get into sewing in lockdown. Um, I've got a really very basic sewing machine. I'll put a picture of it up here. It's just like a John Lewis, really cheap, basic function sewing machine. Doesn't do zips, doesn't do buttons. So it's kind of good for beginners, uh, but it's, it's a little bit difficult trying to find the right pattern for a beginner, if that makes sense. So I looked around and there were lots of good reviews for the Miette skirt. Um, so I gave it a go and I thought I'd just do a review uh, here in case any of you were looking to get into sewing or, you know, fancied having a go and just wanted to see what other people thought of the pattern. Um, so, uh, Tilly in the Buttons, I think she's a UK pattern designer. Um, the Miette skirt itself is only available in PDF patterns, so you either have to do like a print shop to get it printed and delivered to you, or you can just get the PDF yourself and obviously just print it. And then you've got to do what I do, which is stick all the individual sheets together and then cut it out, so it is a little bit time consuming. And the Miette skirt comes in two different pattern types, basically with pockets or without pockets. I did the one with pockets and I'll show you what I made in a second. Uh, but just a general thing, the Tilly and the Buttons brand is kind of known for being uh, very good with jargon. She's got loads of explanations about what she means by the terms she's saying, uh, diagrams and pictures of everything she does, which is really nice and easy to follow. Uh, I must admit, I didn't really have any problems with the pattern. There was only one thing that I got wrong, which was this sort of loop where you put the wrap skirt belt through. I got it on the wrong side, but it was pretty easy to fix. Uh, so the skirt itself, uh, I would say it's pretty flattering. Uh, it's just a kind of A-line wrap skirt. It is a wrap skirt, so as I say, no zips or buttons, but it doesn't look like a wrap skirt, if that makes sense. It, the wrap itself kind of goes around the back, so the flap is actually kind of behind you. So looking at you straight on, it doesn't look like a wrap skirt. So if you want something that looks like a wrap skirt, this isn't the pattern that you should be going for, I wouldn't say. So this is oh, the skirt that I made. So you can see it's got these two really big pockets. I love big pockets. I made it out of a light blue uh, cotton chambray from Minerva Crafts. I'll put the link down below. Um, and you can see, so at the front, it doesn't look like a wrap dress, uh, wrap skirt, but at the back, this is where the wrap kind of hangs, if that makes sense. So you bring the tie around the front and then you can kind of tie it somewhere along the front. Um, it comes in a couple of different lengths. I think I did the slightly shorter one. Um, and the only thing I would say, if you are a beginner, it has quite a lot of top stitching. I did mine in white cotton. If you're not very happy with the kind of evenness of your stitches, I would say go with something that does match, you know, the fabric that you've got, because otherwise it will stand out quite a lot. Um, cause obviously there's some hidden stitches like this, but then as I say, there's quite a lot of top stitching as well, but it's pretty much all in straight lines. So it's really quite easy to do um, as long as you keep the measurement of your kind of sewing machine foot level, then you shouldn't really have too much problem with the straightness of the stitches. Uh, apart from the fabric, obviously sewing machine thread, I think there was some interfacing, which um, you needed to put a lot of the weight band, waistband. And that was something I've never done before, obviously, because I've never used any sewing pattern before. But again, it, it's explained really well in the instructions, so again, you really shouldn't have much of a problem with that. Uh, I think apart from that, that was pretty much all the equipment you needed. So again, you'd have to spend a lot of money getting extra bits that you're never going to need again. Uh, Fabric-wise, as I said, uh, cotton chambray that I use, they same use medium weight fabrics, nothing too, too heavy because you've got to be able to kind of make the waistband quite tight and you've got to be able to thread it through the hole for the waistband tie so anything too bulky and it won't, won't really work um, but I suppose you can kind of make dress it up and dress it down in many different styles it all kind of depends on the fabric that you make and I would say probably not having the pockets would make it more formal looking as well so overall I would say it's a really good option for a beginner as I said it was the first pattern I've ever made and I found it really straightforward and easy to do it's also a really quick make and especially if you are a seasoned sewer you'll we make it up in an hour or so it really is really quick to do and in terms of kind of flattering design and the ability to kind of give it lots of different looks depending on the fabric that you use i really recommend it as a pattern 
Um, I'll try and insert some pictures somewhere of me wearing the skirt so you get a better idea of what it looks like on. But yeah, if you've got any questions, if you're thinking about buying the pattern, anything you'd like to know that I've not mentioned about what I made, um, then drop me a message down below. Uh, I've got a few other pattern reviews coming up that I've been trying to do over lockdown, so I'll put those up as well. Hopefully someone will find them useful. And then otherwise, if you like this video, um, please give it a thumbs up. And otherwise, if you like arts and craft videos, then um, consider subscribing because I try to do a lot of those videos when I've got the chance. Otherwise, hopefully it won't be too long until I post my next video and I'll see you next time.